Hi, I'm Father Joe, and this is Daddy Marcus TV. I'm going to read for you the preface of My Life in Ethiopia's Progress, Volume 2, Addis Ababa, 1966. The Autobiography of Emperor Ali Selassie I, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I read before the preface to the book that you're now looking at, that's Volume 1, which was a prayer. But I felt compelled to read to you the preface to this second volume. It goes as follows. This second volume covers the history of our struggle from the time we presented Ethiopia's appeal to the League of Nations in Geneva on June 30, 1936, through the period when we returned to Ethiopia and began to be involved in the continuing modernization of our country up to the signing of a treaty with our friend and ally, the British government, on January 31, 1942. It describes the war of politics we waged and the severe personal trials and difficulties that we encountered during our exile in Britain. In addition, it explains, more or less, to what extent the correspondence we had with our patriots contributed to our struggle. Nine months after the beginning of World War II, we saw the dawn of our freedom approaching and we left Britain for the Sudan at the end of June 1940 to drive the enemy out of our country. Described in this book are the details of how we gathered together our exiled loyal citizens to support our effort and spent six months organizing our military forces in collaboration with the British and how we entered Ethiopia and with the help of our ally, launched a campaign, broke the forces of the enemy, gained victory, and restored freedom. After the defeat of the enemy and our return to the capital, we encountered some intricate problems with the British authorities in East Africa. However, without losing patience and hope, we persevered through the problems we faced, above all placing our confidence in God and his fair judgment, our steadfast struggle eventually bore fruit and we emerged victorious. Even so, our conscience has never been diverted by self-glorification and hypocrisy from believing that this victory was God's provision. To recapitulate, when we appealed to the Geneva Assembly and reminded the nations of the world that if Europe considers the matter as if it were over, it has to take into account the fate that awaits itself. Not a few people saw our plea as a trivial matter. Nevertheless, when the righteous judge stood up to dispense justice, each government regretted the result that befell it. The world also witnessed the limits of the power of all aggressors. Ali Selassie I, King of Kings. There it goes. Uh, that was the preface to My Life in Ethiopia's Progress, Volume 2. I'm Father Joe, and this has been Daddy Marcos TV. Thanks for watching. God bless you all.